She got the cover of Glamorella this month. I mean, just look at her. Two fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiff if I was still around. Ugh. What? Oh, no, you've got to be kidding! You're a Malkavian? Gary actually lets you guys in here? My day just went from bad to coach class. Cleopatra. Hey, that's my password on my... How did you... Whatever. I'm not even gonna ask. The name is Amalia, so I'd appreciate it if you'd use it. Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. Spare me your head shrink bullshit. You've got no idea what I'm going through here. I mean, I can't sit here and let the world think she's better than me. I've got to do something. What did you say? Nobody talks that way to me. I'm Amalia. Do you hear me? Amalia! Sure, whatever. Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blank. Yeah, the lesson is, life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down? That's it. As if I have to take this bullshit from some low-life Camarilla gopher girl. Hit the road, bitch. Hmm, okay. You want to get back on my good side? Then don't come back here until you've got last year's copy of Guy magazine where I'm on the cover. You know, the one where I was wearing the gum wrapper and the two bottle caps. Hey. Until you've got my magazine, you may as well just turn your ass around and go spelunking. Nothing for you in here. Starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 
What are you using for security down there, a trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Huh? Tango? <laughs> you came to the wrong place for dance lessons. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot you're an okay. And you got more than a few bugs in the software, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, but uh, that's a tech problem I can't fix. Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here, huh? I'm following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> Nothing I could do from here. Those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes. Built back in the technological dark ages. Sorry, but I don't do analog, newbie. <laughs> Go ahead. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> Yeah, he knows why you're here. The Croys must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. The Croy knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Go ahead. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the net network. <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Yeah, yeah you, you do that? Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way and make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> Well, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed. President, all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> oh, but one day I went across the system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. 
But I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. It was a uh, uh, Nosferatu database. Not even a really important one either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> And voila, here I am. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna wear any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Go ahead. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. <laughs>